Today we're going to be talking about luck and I did this class earlier in the week and so this is a repeat lesson if you missed the first broadcast. So we have four reservations for class so the next minute or so is for people who have reservations and they can join this class but for others there are some spots available. Okay, so you guys are more than welcome to join class and watch. All right, and we're going to be working with this one worksheet. Uh, it's posted under class material. All right, and so I'm going to show you how to find uh, material we're working with. And I see we have students joining. Welcome to class, guys. Um, so, do you have the worksheet, Elvira and Bruno? Hi, what did you ask me? Do you have the worksheet? The worksheet? What is that? Okay, so, no, that's great. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Okay? Okay. So, it's my first we... class, so. Ah, welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, so if you guys are new, I'm going to show you a little bit of a review of how to work the website right now. So if we go to the Verbling webpage and we go to classes, okay, you'll see mine um, and you can click on it and it says class description and then class material and you just want to click on that link, it's called luck and I'll post the link in Verbling chat for anyone following along or anyone who can't find the link. Alright, so welcome to class guys. All right, so what I want to do is start with some introductions. All right, so I'm Laura. I'm your Verbling teacher. I'm from the United States, um, and I currently live in France. Okay. So would anyone else like to introduce themselves uh, to the class? Uh, so what about um, people are joining? One second. <laughs> it's a little pause. Um, okay, so what about Hernan Ramirez? Can you introduce yourself to class at all? So just some introductions. Tell me your name, where you live, and if you're new to Verbling. Anyone want to volunteer? <laughs> Okay, silence. Ah, hello. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, how are you, teacher? Good, how are you? I'm fine. You, you look different today. Ah, uh, no makeup. That happens. <laughs> ah, so this is the secret, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how are you all? Fine, thank you, man. Yeah. And thank you also, teacher. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, so, would you guys so, like teacher, uh, mm -hmm. what are we going to do today? Okay. Yeah, so we're going so, to take a look at the worksheet and I'll post the link again. Okay. Ah, the worksheet. Okay. And we're just going to start with a discussion. Um, yes, so, so, everybody, I think, will introduce himself. So. Mm -hmm. so, we're going to talk about luck today. Does anyone know what luck is? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit because I don't have luck. <laughs> so. Okay, so can you explain that to anyone? I ha you have know? never met like in person. You've never... Yeah. Okay. Ne never been lucky. <laughs> Never been lucky. And we're going to work with these expressions. So the expressions, I am lucky and I am not lucky. Or people is, say... Is it, is it the same as uh, I'm uh, fortunate? Um, it, a little bit. It's a little bit differently. Uh, different. Yeah. Sorry. So luck is a pure chance. So people that win the lottery are lucky. Wow. Okay, um, so things just tend to happen.
happen to these people. They have very good luck. Uh, we can also say everything uh, goes their way. All right. So, and we're going to take a look um, at our discussion questions. All right. Um, and we're just going to give a minute because we had some people come in and out of class. All right. So it looks like the numbers are stable. All right. So if we take a look at this um, worksheet, we see the first question, which is, are you a lucky person? Why do you think you are or aren't lucky? And so um, maybe we can start with Osama because he told us that he is not lucky. So why do you think you are not lucky? Is there a yeah, reason? Yeah, I'm not lucky because uh, because every time I want to make something, so mm -hmm. so I failed. So I think if I'm lucky person, so uh, I'll be successful. Okay, so yeah. for, for you, the success versus failure, it's very yeah. difficult to find success. Yeah but, sometime, yeah, but sometimes I'm not lucky just in some things, and mm -hmm. I'm lucky in other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. Say it comes like and motivation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, definitely understandable. Um, and so I can give you guys an example, all right? So personally, I am probably the most unlucky person you will ever meet. Many people have told me this. Um, in English, we have um, an expression, a black cloud follows you. Um, it's the idea of bad luck follows you. So I have a black cloud or bad luck all the time. Um, so I have a lot of problems with public transportation. So if I'm taking a train or a bus or an airplane, there's always a problem. <laughs> it's never smooth. Um, usually delayed or they're not running. Um, things like that. So I have very bad luck. Um, but I am a positive person. So I'm not negative, but I, I always have bad luck. All right, um, and I, I tend to have a lot of things stolen. All right, <laughs> so um, I, that is why I think I'm an unlucky person. So for other students in class, would you say you're lucky or unlucky? What do you think? An auspicious. I feel I, I'm lucky. I feel. And so why do you think you're lucky? Who was that? I think I am lucky. Yeah, so why are you lucky, uh, Lucas? Because uh, I get a job in a difficult situation in my, in my country and lately I, I get my job and I have a son and I, I love my family and I never get sick, very, very sick. I think uh, I am lucky. Ah. This is a difficult word. <laughs> yeah, so you have, um, you have a good family, you have a good job, you got a job during a difficult time. Your life is um, plentiful, it's full, it's complete. You're happy with your life. So that's a good way um, to express yes. luck. Yeah. Um, and so a student on um, Verbling Chat asked if auspicious was the same as lucky. Um, and so auspicious kind of means that um, something leads you to success. Um, or maybe it's a, a good moment, a favorable moment. Um, and luck is a little different. So luck is the idea that, um, you know, um, and I'm going to go back to the lottery. Out of everyone who plays the lottery, you won the lottery. All right, so it's, it's random chance, okay? And you won. All right, so favorable or um, leading to success. All right. Anyone else want to share if they think they are lucky or unlucky? What do you guys think? All 
Okay. So why don't we take a look at number two, which is describe your worst encounter with bad luck, which is um, to tell a story um, about um, an event that happened to you that was completely awful. You know, you had no luck, no chance. So um, anyone want to start? So an encounter with bad luck. And that can be anything from missing the bus to um, uh, <laughs> having your wallet stolen or something like that. So does anyone have anything that was bad luck happen to them recently? Um, so I'll start with an example and maybe someone else will think of one. Um, so every day there's one train to Paris um, every hour, okay? And there's never any problems. So one day, I decided to go to Paris and take the 1145 train because I was teaching Burbling in the morning. All the trains before and after 1145 worked, but I got stuck on the train between Paris and my town for three hours. <laughs> Only my train. The other trains were fine. So that's um, a pretty... Um, annoying encounter with bad luck. So does anyone have something similar they could share? So an annoying situation, possibly. All right, so let's see. Um, what about Bruno Viana? Have you had um, any bad luck? Probably, but I'm not remember. I don't remember. <laughs> but you don't remember. Yes, exactly. I don't remember. Okay. Um, and have you had any good luck? Can you give an example of good luck? Um, let me think. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Teacher. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Yes. Yeah, I'm just curious about uh, uh, why the horse show is a symbol of luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a symbol for luck in your country or no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know the reason behind it. <laughs> Does anyone? Okay. So the, we can talk about that. So the horseshoe is a symbol of luck. Do you have anything else that represents luck in your countries? Anything you can keep on yourself or in your pocket to bring you a good fortune? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have like a, a hand. A, a we hand? have like a small hand, yeah. Oh, okay, and what is it made out of? Made of, uh, yeah, from gold usually. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So you can have a small gold hand that you can keep in your pocket? Yeah. Okay. And, and it's, a, it's a symbol <coughs> of, uh, of luck, of fortune. And uh, where are you from so we can place that in the I'm, world? Uh, I'm from Morocco. From Morocco. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so you have the horseshoe and a little gold hand. Do you have anything else in Morocco that represents luck at all? Mm, no, I don't know. There is something else to represent. Mm -hmm. And what about some of our other students? What can you carry or keep on you as um, a lucky charm? And we're going to talk about that. So a lucky charm is like the horseshoe or like the gold hand from Morocco. Something small you can keep on you to improve your fortune. Are there any other examples throughout the world? Right. What about um, 
Musab Khalid. Do you have anything in your country that symbolizes uh, good luck? Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm also from Morocco, so so ah. like like uh, Osama says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have a hand, and we also we have a a small book that uh, we that ah, we sure. a small book that's uh, written by Greece. Quran. Yeah, no, no. Quran uh, is. Uh, I want to say Hijab. In <laughs> <laughs> but Quran is uh, is not a sample of luck. It's a religious uh, book. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you carry it with you, what does that mean? So if you have the small book. In your pocket or in your backpack. Yes, but uh, but for me, I I don't be, I don't believe so. That's uh, that's <laughs> he it's uh, it may get uh, luck uh, or uh, something uh, like that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sure. Uh, people here go to and especially uh, girls go to uh, for example to a person that says a religious religious person. It's a fake religious person mm -hmm. and they told him to uh, to write for them uh, uh, like he he, uh, he take a piece of paper and start writing things uh, mm -hmm. just random things I don't have I don't know it's it have a meaning and uh, and uh, then he give the, 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 the girl he give them that that piece of paper and the girl for example uh, use this uh, uh, this paper to, to get married for example or if uh, if a person have an exam at school so they use they use it to uh, to get luck to have luck in the exam oh that's pretty cool okay yeah but, I, yeah, but, but it, it, ha, it has no meaning it just uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. it's just a symbol of the third world Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so I have a class like this coming up, and that's definitely a superstition. So the yeah, belief yeah, yeah. <laughs> in that this piece of paper with these marks on it is going to uh, help you or improve your uh, test score or uh, give you a great marriage. Yeah. Um, what about Elvira? Good. Gazdanova, is there anything in your country that is lucky? Um, I am from Russia. Mm -hmm. um, I'm lucky. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am first uh, in, in Berlin. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you're new to verbling. New, yes. Okay. Well, welcome. Oh, thank you. So yeah, but you, but you said yeah, but you said that you are lucky, but you didn't uh -huh. give us the reason why. Don't don't grill her too hard, Osama. Okay. So, <laughs> no, no, it's an actual question. No. So why? I'm just curious to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an example um, that makes you lucky? Um, yeah. Or your secrets? We all want uh, to be lucky. Ah, uh, I um, about mm -hmm. I like. Uh, um, because I have a good job and health and a good family. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. Nice. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> yes. Hundred percent lucky. <laughs> yes, you have a good yeah. life like uh, Lewis. Good family is the most important. Uh. <laughs> So we have uh, an expression in English uh, to describe good family, um, good friends, um, having children, maybe the career you want. Um, and we say that we have a full life. 
So you can say, I have a full life. Um, uh, sometimes complete is used. All right. And um, Fernanda, Fernanda, are you in class? Maybe she's watching. She mentions the four-leaf clover. Does anyone have that symbol in their country as a symbol of luck? The four-leaf clover? And I'm going to show you a picture. Um, okay, so four-leaf clover. Is this lucky to anyone? If you find one? I never. <laughs> but I want no. one day. So you've never seen one of these? Never. Yeah, I have. I have seen this. Uh, this be yeah before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, in a sh in a, sh a sh chewing gum. Uh, yeah, packet. <laughs> On a chewing gum packet. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So maybe for they. Us? Yeah, maybe they mean that uh, chewing gum is uh, when you start uh, chewing uh, the this the gum, you you were lucky. You will be lucky. It's a possibility. Um, this is an Irish symbol of luck, um, and we have it in the United States because, of course, we have a large Irish population, um, and so it's very common for people to get the tattoo of a four-leaf clover, um, so to permanently have a symbol of luck on your body. All right. And so, Louis, you tell oh, us in chat know. that you don't believe in luck, but you kind of believe in superstitions. Do you want to explain that? Could you explain that for us at all? Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, yeah, I, maybe I don't have yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have a good idea about uh, about Spain superstition, but but mm -hmm. what I what I see is that in in all all Spanish television in the in the evening they bring uh, some some people and uh, people call call them and. And uh, to, uh, ask them for uh, for luck. So, what's gonna happen for them in in the future? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's it's yeah, it's it's like all the Spanish television. <laughs> um, that kind of sounds like a fortune teller or a yeah. mystic, um, and she may have tarot cards. Yeah, astro, right? astro. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do that as well. Um, so anyone else, can you tell us a symbol of luck in your country? So we have the symbol of the gold hand, we have a four-leaf clover, we have the horseshoe. Is anything else uh, a symbol of luck in your country? Um, so what about, well we have Puss in Boots or Prancing Pony, I think. I like your picture. <laughs> Can Money you? is a symbol of luck okay, in, so money. in my country. Yeah. Oh. What kinds of money? Like <laughs> money, like um, like euros or pieces or old money. Can you be more specific? Um, the symbols of uh, luxury, uh, gold, um, mm -hmm. jewels. Um, this is a, a symbol of, of luck. Of I luck. Think. Of luck, sorry. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so. so like um, a gold ring or a necklace. But this is a symbol of war. Symbol of, people... of what? Of war. Of, of war. Wars. So in um, with war. camps. With, with. Of wealth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it is, for me also, it's a symbol of wealth, but it could be a symbol of luck. That's very interesting. Um, 
And then we we do something kind of weird in the United States. So I can um, show you guys. Um, it's a little gross, I think. <laughs> um, does anyone know what it is that people carry with them in the U.S.? Uh, um, people say uh, money, call money. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> we carry money, but um, you'll a lot of people have a rabbit's foot, and they're dyed different colors, and they're really soft. You know, a, a bunny rabbit, <laughs> like a, a rabbit. <laughs> um, and it's you, authentic, it's a rabbit. And you rabbit touch feet. it for luck. Yeah. So rabbit's feet. It's kind of a weird tradition. I don't know where it comes from, but. She, she is. Floating, and and the funny thing is, we don't really eat rabbit in the U.S. It's not a common uh, dish, so. Really, it's it's very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I I live in France right now, and we have rabbits. Um, and I was so excited. I was like, oh, we have a pet rabbit, and they were like, no, that's for dinner. So um, there was a moment of cultural confusion for me. Yeah, so rabbit for us is not um, a popular meal in the U.S., but it's, it's common to have a foot, a rabbit's foot, for luck. Who knows? All right, so we're going to make our way through some of the um, worksheet. And what I want us to do is um, to take a look at the vocabulary and I'm going to give each person a number. And what you have to do is you have to find the definition. So you have this word, excuse, and you have to tell us the letter. The letter is the answer. And so each student is going to have um, their own. All right. And if you don't know, don't be afraid. Just say, I, I don't know, and we can help you in class. All right. So Bruno, number one. Okay. So I'm I'm giving you numbers. Uh, Eduard Gonzalez, two. Elvira, three. Hernan Ramirez, four. Juan Pablo, five. Luis, six. Musab, seven. Okay. Eight. Osama and nine prancing pony. Yep. All right. And so Fernanda tells us in Verbling chat that in Brazil they have several symbols, and one of them is the horseshoe, which I think uh, that's a pretty universal symbol. Uh, so we find it throughout the world. Um, and so I'll give you about a minute or two. Does anyone have questions or not know their number? Okay. I'm going to zoom in. All right, and so are you ready to start for us, Bruno? Mm -hmm. I'll try. Uh, that's, that's all I ask. Okay. Will you ask me? Yes, so what letter do you think it is? Okay. Letter E? Um, so it is not letter E. Not? But I can give you an example. Okay. Um, so uh, I hate football, or I hate sports 
So I always uh, come up with an excuse not to watch them. Okay. And so if you need help, don't uh, be afraid to ask class and maybe someone here can help you as well. Letter H. Proceed without effort. You're getting closer. Does anyone, can we help him out? And number one is uh, letter D. Excuse is a reason to help others to accept yeah, something. Yeah. So one yeah. is D. Don't worry, that one was a difficult one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at this vocabulary and then we'll see it how it is used in the paragraph. Okay. Um, so number two was Edouard. What's a slot machine? All right. Edouard, are you there? Okay. So can we do number two as a class? What is a slot um, machine at it's a casino? Number, it's letter E. Machines you put money into in hopes of winning more back. More, luck. more back. Yeah. Yes. Um, letter okay. I. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you speak French? Sorry. Uh, so it's letter I, because I know in French it's E. <laughs> yeah, oui, je parle français. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Morocco, the second language is uh, French. French, mm -hmm. yes. And the first, is it um, Arabic? Yes. Arabic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So do you, um, just a quick question, do you both speak French, Arabic, and English? What, what? do you mean, uh, uh, all people? or? Uh, well, you two, do you both speak French and Arabic? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if the country was divided. So um, the north or something speaks French, and the south speaks Arabic. I didn't know if there was. No, um, no. 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 Actually, actually, French is the language of education. So people here don't use uh, French in everyday uh, situation. They just use Arabic. French yes. is also in. Uh, the language of education and the language uh, of the Especially media. Especially in universities. Yeah, not, universities, not, private not schools. Not all schools. Okay. High school in Arabic. Yeah. That sounds very confusing. I don't think I could <laughs> have two languages every day. We study uh, uh, in universities, we study in France. Okay. Yeah. But uh, in, schools, in yes. the secondary schools, we, we study in Arabic. Okay. That's, that's very interesting. I just had a question about that. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and so number three, Elvira, do you know what number three is? Uh, land in one's lap. This one is kind of difficult. It's, um, it's an idiom. So it's... Expression we use. Uh, this is H. Uh, to recite without a fourth. Yeah, exactly. So three is H. Good. And you posted the answer for me. Thank you. All right. Uh, number four, Hernan Ramirez. Are you with us? Okay, so can we do number four um, as a class? And that is attract. To make something come in a certain direction. Yeah, and what letter is that? Uh, a. A, yeah, so letter four is A. 
Good. All right. And five, Juan Pablo. Uh, yes, uh, I mm -hmm. I couldn't read it. Ah, okay. So um, I'm trying to get it as large as possible, but we can't see all of the answers then. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, sorry, I can't. I need a link. Yeah, can someone post the link again for him at all? Um, is that possible? Yes, please. Okay, I got it. Ah, thank you. Uh, so you're five visualized. Oh, wait. Oh, it's loading. Okay. We'll come back to number five. We won't do it. Um, we'll move on to number six. So, Lewis, can you do number six for us? <coughs> okay. Uh, number six is F, become real or, or, or true. Yeah, exactly. So, six is F. Right. Uh, what about um, Musab for seven? Or I think uh, it's uh, G. A patch of darkness that results when light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. G. And Osama, uh, eight. Draw. Eight. Draw. Mm -hmm. uh, Laura, I'm ready now. Okay. So we'll finish number eight and then we'll go back to you, Juan. Okay, visualize is J. Ah. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, so five is J. Awesome. Thank you. To vis uh, is to see in your mind or to imagine. So you visualize. Yes. Um, and so, Osama, do you need a little help with number eight? Draw. Uh, we have a few meanings of this word. I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's H. Um, so, to receive without effort was land in one's lap. Um, and so, we have a few meanings of um, draw. Um, the first is um, to draw, so it's the verb, um, and that means to it's design. It's like to, to draw, yeah, drawing pictures. Drawing. Yeah, and then a draw here, um, it's a noun, um, and it's a contest. Um, so it's kind of like a raffle, mm. and you put all your tickets with your name on them in a bucket, and then they choose one. They draw the name out. Um, and so the third definition describes the noun of the contest, which is pulling out your name. So which one so, could it? So be? it's E. Yes, it is. A contest you enter where uh, there is a chance to win something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So E. Good job. And prancing pony. Can you do nine for us? Uh, I think D. A reason to help others accept something. Okay, so D was um, excuses, but you're kind of close uh, mm -hmm. with the letter. So odds um, are your. Um, I'm trying not to use the answer. Um, does anyone know? So I don't give it away. <laughs> what are odds? So we have a few people on chat. Um, Armando says it's letter B, and it is. So your odds are your chances. Okay. So you either have good odds or bad odds. Um, and what's a lucky charm? We had a discussion about lucky charms. That's uh, E. A. A contest you, you, you answer where there is a chance to win something. So that was a that was a draw. 
um, draw was E a contest. Um, and we had a discussion about lucky charms like rabbit's feet and um, a gold hand and the four leaf clover. So, what is our lucky charm? Chances. It's it helps. Uh, number it helps H. It's a uh, letter H. So, it's letter C. It's an object. See. A lucky charm is an object that is um, supposed to bring us good fortune. And then letter H, to receive mm. without effort, went with our idiom of number three, to land in one's lap, to receive without effort. Um, so we're going to take a look, don't worry, at this paragraph, and we'll see how these words are used. Okay? Um, okay. So would anyone like to read for us? Yeah. Okay. Luck. Mm -hmm. Luck, does it land in your lap? Yes. Lucky people are often in the right place at the right time. This is the excuse they give. Everyone wants to know their true secret to success. You know someone like this, don't you? He wins money in slot machines. Three holidays lands in the uh, in her lap. Uh, when Miss Perfect meets Mr. Wright at the bus stop, you can't help but wish you you had you had her luck. It is possible that someone uh, that some people attract good fortune. This theory is called the law of attraction. According to the, uh, to the law of attraction, good things happen to positive people. The trick is to visualize dreams coming true before they materialize. The law of attraction theory works in the opposite way too. In, order, uh, in other words, uh, bad luck follows negative, uh, negative people like a shadow. For example, negative people remind themselves they are not going to win as they enter a draw. People uh, play the lottery despite uh, the odds of winning are uh, your chances of winning higher if you visualize yourself as a millionaire. Perhaps all you need is a lucky charm in your pockets. Good. Okay, so we're going to take a look at comprehension and we're going to see if we understand this paragraph. Okay. Okay. Um, so if we take a look at the first question. Okay, so what excuse do some people give for their luck? What do they tell us why they're lucky? So lucky people are often in the right place at the right time. This is the excuse they give. Everyone wants to know their true secret to success. You know someone like this, don't you? So what is an excuse? Their, excu their excuse is uh, <laughs> there is in the, the right place at the right time. Perfect. So their excuse is that they're in the right place at the right time. Do, does anyone know people like this who are always in the right place at the right time? Uh, so it's kind of like, um, does anyone understand that idea and maybe can explain yes, it to yes. us? Yeah? Can you give us an example? An example of uh, being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. uh, so an example is uh, maybe you have friends. I know I do. Um, whenever there is a free um, promotion, so a giveaway um, on my university campus. My friend Lisa was always there. She got Red Bull, Monster, Rita's, hamburgers. <laughs> like 
all the time. She was always at, um, in the right place at the right time for free things before there was a line and before there was no more products. She once came home with chicken wings and a burger. And I was like, where did you find this? Oh, it's free. <laughs> All right? So, <laughs> um, she's always in the she's right. She's really looking. Very yes. looking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And so, if we take a look at question two, uh, what examples of luck landing in one's lap are given? There are a few examples of um, certain things that are very lucky that just happened to people. What were they? So if we take a look at this section, what happens, what lands in people's laps? He wins money in slot machines. Yeah. What else happens? So that's one answer. A man wins uh, money in the slot machine. What happened is uh, Miss Perfect meets Mr. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what is Miss Perfect meets Mr. Right? Can you describe that to us at all? So what happens, what is it when Miss Perfect meets Mr. Right? You'll hear this a lot in English with jealous yes. friends. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's mean that's uh, the right time and the right place in the perfect time and the perfect place. <laughs> yeah, so it means that this woman, all right, she was in the perfect place, and she's the woman that's gorgeous, has the great job, has a nice car, a nice apartment, and she meets the best husband, all right? So when you hear Mr. Yes. Per Mrs. Perfect or Miss Perfect and Mr. Right, it means um, this, a woman... Uh, a woman met the perfect husband. All right, and so <laughs> jealous women will use this phrase a lot in English. Like, she's so perfect, and of course she found Mr. Right. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> you may hear it in some movies as well, some American movies. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what's a free holiday? What other word can we use for holiday? Vacation. Yeah. So, um, money, vacations, and a husband were falling into these people's laps. So, it was pretty nice. All right. Um, and what is the theory discussed in the reading? They mention a theory. A theory of the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And what is the law of attraction? Yeah, they mean that uh, some kind of people uh, uh, attract good fortune, attract luck. And how do they do this? What word do they use that begins with a P? They have to feel good and think think you're very close they have to think they visualize visualize yeah so they 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 think positively yeah and they visualize their dreams, dreams. <laughs> all right so if you um has anyone seen the movie field of dreams no. um uh, so it's an American movie with 
Oh, man, I'm so bad with the actors' names. Well, there's a black guy and there's a white guy, and the white guy is on a farm, and someone comes and tells him, if you build it, he will come. So it's the idea of, like, if you build it, he will come. The idea that if he um, builds this baseball field, um, God will come to him, um, and he will be forgiven for all of his mistakes type of thing. Um, and um, it's been his dream to play baseball and um, to meet famous baseball players. And he's been visualizing this his whole life. And then all of a sudden, it magically comes true. So just trying to connect it to something, but that reference doesn't... It's a very American reference. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, and so we answered number four. So number four is they visualize. Okay, and then what is the last question? What do some people carry to attract luck? So what do some people carry to attract luck? And it was one of our vocabulary words. So if we take a look at the end. Okay. Are your chances yeah. of winning higher? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think people... Uh People care to attract luck by, by using uh, lucky charms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they put them in their pockets or their backpacks or they wear them. Yeah. Um, my boyfriend, for instance, has lucky underwear. I will never understand that one. <laughs> okay? So he believes that when he wears it, he's going to have a good day. So he wears them for... Um, conferences and when he has to public speak yeah yeah <laughs> and even sometimes uh, people uh get them tattooed in yeah in the arms or so we're going to take a look with just a few more vocab words for the last few minutes of class all right um so would anyone like to do number 1 so you have to read the co the sentence with the answer inside. Okay. So, and some of the words are right here in this box. So we have excuse, visualize, shadow, draw, odds, lucky charm, and materialize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. What about I, do it? I was just going to call on you, Musab. Yeah, you can definitely do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bad luck surrounded the grumpy man like a dark shadow. Perfect. Yeah. So shadow. What about number two? Anyone brave enough to try number two? Yeah. Yeah? Melon's lucky charm was a tiny photo of his grandmother. Perfect. What about number three? Materialize. Can you read the sentence, the complete sentence? If you materialize yourself on stage, your dreams may come true. So it's just the opposite of materialize. What is the opposite of materialize? Visualize. 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 Yeah, yes. so just the opposite, but good job. Yeah. What about number four? And so this, we want to find the word that means contest. So what word means? Uh, arts. 
So odds or chances? Draw. Yeah. So can you read the full sentence for us? We entered the draw for the new car, but we didn't win. Exactly. And what about number five? I made up an excuse for missing the party. Perfect. Yeah. Good job. Right. So this is where I'm going to end class. Does anyone have any questions at all? Or want to comment if you're a little bit quieter? And now you know what you want to say for some of our discussion questions in the beginning. This is your time. So we have about four minutes. Anyone wants to share anything or reflect on anything or ask any questions? Yeah, I I'm just wondering if you are using a uh, lucky charm now. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't really have one. Um, I used to have a locket that I wore every day, but it broke. And since then, there's nothing I have to wear every day. Yeah, since uh, then, you, you have no luck. Yeah, it's kind of been my whole life. Not just <laughs> since the locket broke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a good question. <laughs> and so do you have a lucky charm that you use? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is your lucky charm? Yeah, I went to uh, the uh, fake religious man, and he gave me the the paper, the okay. the piece of paper written. Yeah. Okay, so you had the paper. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Do you think it brought you luck? No, that's not no. true, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And anyone else in class? Any final questions at all? Okay, so I'm going to end the broadcast here. We had a pretty great lesson. We had a lot of participants in chat. Um, so I like reading what you guys write and trying to incorporate it into class. Um, and good work.